Education man number two. And before calling him, I would like to we would like to listen from this evaluator, Mr. Arvind Vivekananda. My target speaker Gopal Krishnan is attempting his project number two. Organize your speech from competent communication manual. Uh, his objectives are select an outline that's appropriate for your topic and allows your listeners to easily follow and understand your presentation. Make your message clear to the audience. The main points, subpoints, and support materials should contribute to that message. Use appropriate transitional words, phrases, statements, or questions as you move from one idea to other. Create a strong opening and conclusion. Incorporate suggestions from your evaluation for project number one. All the best, my dear uh, David Speaker. Over to you, General. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you, Arvind. So, before, when I asked about the theme of the day, especially uh, the, the speaker, what he experienced in life, can you please tell on some experience or you, uh, you had with you about the theme of the day? Then he said, he for the last company, his boss is very rude. He will give a lot of factions. Whenever he come back, come with some solution, he will say, no, not correct. It's up to the mark, not up to the mark. He will go it again and bring it back. Kind of lot of you know back and forth action has happened. Then he pursued. This boss is a very bad boss. I never forgot this boss. Like that he pursued. But later stage, he was doing good now. And understand, all are because of that boss. The action is pursued as a wrong, but the boss intention was right. He want to deliver it good. That is the action. So this is what he said about the theme of the day experience. So he is a very young and energetic. He was working in the IT sector, uh, the pharmaceutical sector and IT division. So let us welcome our speaker, Gobala Krishnan, Toastmaster Gobala Krishnan. Adventurous area, one area. In middle of nowhere between the Sri Paramatur and uh, Kanchipur. Good morning everyone. And my topic for today is uh, leadership is not all about business school and corporate corridors. It can be found even in common web. Again coming back. I was traveling to Bangalore in one, uh, one night from Chennai to from Chennai to Bangalore using a government bus. What happened is when I crossed Kanchipuram, there was heavy rain and bus got broke down. When bus got broke down, um, there are only conductor and driver who are trying to solve the problem. And inside the bus, there are 48 angry passengers, including kids and people from various ages. Since the bus condition was so pathetic that uh, waters were pouring inside, and it made uh, passengers even more angrier. But uh, the conductor and driver were trying to solve the issue. It was not fruitful. After 45 days of struggle, they found another bus passing by. And when they requested for more help, the second bus gave them some more tools. Using those tools, they were trying to solve, uh, fix the brake. Again, it was not. Uh, getting it done. In the meantime, conductor tried to contact the city, uh, tried to contact the city manager uh, uh, using a phone. But what happened is like whoever was picking the call were just passing the bus to the next one. They were not answering to his question. But after a struggle, he finally got in touch with the chief engineer, who instead of giving a solution at that time was asking more and more annoying questions which made the passengers as well as the conductor to it, it, which made the passengers more angry. And now conductor realized that this is not going to provide a solution like another substitute bus or something. So again he was trying to do things what what could be done at the ten bus. After 90 minutes a random lorry stopped by and he offered some more help where this time the lorry driver, who, who can be seen as a hero, and then the, the conductor and driver who are getting underneath the bus, getting dirt, and they were trying to fix the 
brakes but finally the brake was fixed and bus was starting and it ran smoothly but bus was back to normal and passengers were okay and next day morning I reached Bangalore at 6 o'clock but what I saw on that day was the conductor uh, Conductor's leadership was too good for me at that time. Like he handled many situations like bad weather, angry passengers, bureaucracy, and red tape is also. And I, I I was so curious like uh, how how he can be very uh, calm and uh, stress free when situation was. So bad, so so bad. Uh, I against him, and I I went and spoke to him and asked like, uh, uh, what is your grade? He said I am a third standard pass officer. That made me to think on that day is like, leadership is not all about uh, people coming from a business school or having great experience in corporate sector. It can be even found in the common man. And I feel India is more of uh, uh, India is a country where you can find more leaders in common man than in the sea suit uh, uh, persons. And I was lucky enough to pay 43 degree rupees for uh, attending a crash course on leadership on that day. Some says uh, humans are from New York, and some says humans are from Chennai. But uh, I, I, but I say that uh, we need to honor uh, on the daily basis to this uh, daily leaders who can be found in their common man mode. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. It's a wonderful speech.